Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. That's a quote from the late Nelson Mandela. It is also a huge message being carried on by Dr. Oz's nonprofit group, Health Corp. Talking uh, more with Dr. Oz himself about the in a moment, but first, Sarita is here with a way the group is making an impact here in Houston. Yeah, well, all I gotta say is I got mine. Do you all have yours? I'm talking about this button right uh, here. Yeah. One. Yeah, we sure do. So, um, chances are, if you have one of these, you are familiar with Health Corp. It's kind of tough to see because it's real small, but let me describe it for you. It's an apple, it is red, and it symbolizes health and knowledge, and it's also the core curriculum in Max Blumenthal's classroom. Take a look. How much fat is in each one of these? Do you think that this fat goes with that? you think this fat goes with that? Fast food. Do so you think that one's got 50 grams? Fat facts. You can touch it. Dare to play in Cafe Oye. Right, so we can't see the fat in these foods, but it's there, and so when you take it out, like, would you want to eat this? That's a big no from the majority here at Sharpstown High School. It's also the answer Mr. Max Blumenthal, the health court coordinator, was hoping for. Um, you know, so we're taking um, into these fun interactive lessons that they get the kids up, moving around, you know, doing all sorts of hands-on activities, and they're actually building skills that they can take home to their families and take home into their, into their lives and into, the fu into their futures. Personally, I did it more to my family. Um, my uncles, he used to go a lot every day to fast food, like fast food eating, and I told him to stop. This is bad for you. You should go eat more, eat more healthier. So now, like, he prepares a healthy meal, everything low fat. Call it a health plan or maybe just extra credit, since this is the only school in the state of Texas with this type of program. So the, if the Percent daily value. Health Corps is Dr. Oz's nonprofit. It was founded in 2003. The president, Michelle Bouchard, says the movement stems from one of his patients, a 20 year old who was morbidly obese and needed triple bypass surgery. And he went in to tell the family she'd made it, and they were all celebrating by eating fast food. And he knew that they loved this woman. And he thought, you know, if they only knew that this had contributed towards her going into the OR. That's when Dr. Oz self-funded Health Corps and thought it'd be perfect in schools where mentors like Mr. Blumenthal can get the kids early and serve up healthy advice that surprisingly kids are seeking. We want to know about how our bodies work. We want to know how to be less stressed. We want to know how to be more active. The program offers that and some. In fact, there's too many groups and activities to name. But we can say Health Corps continues to grow with students actively seeking out those resources. And like Mr. Blumenthal says, all it takes are these types of interactive games. This one goes here. This one's got 50 grams. Oh, yeah. hey, Since sometimes... How much do you think Fries has? Seeing is believing. You wouldn't just open up the bag and eat it? There you go. Here. Thank you for playing. That prize was a granola bar, by the way. <laughs> so this Alcor program just keeps on, you know, evolving. They're working with a local food bank to start a food pantry, so they're able to expand not just to the students on campus, but also their families. And I want to point out, they also have a garden on campus, so they're producing all of their veggies. So really, there's no, like, mm -hmm. schedule for this mm -hmm. uh, this class. It really just keeps evolving based on what Mr. Blumenthal is, is you know, observing. And one of the things he noticed was that these kids are losing energy towards the end of the day. So now he's trying to implement a snack time in the afternoon, which mm -hmm. I think we all can say we're guilty of. Right? It's Losing not just for the elementary yeah. schools. No. So <laughs> high schools can do it it's as well. It's so intriguing. It's not only making them healthier, but when we're talking about raising their SAT scores because yeah. of their lifestyle changes, that, that's going to change the rest of their lives. We've actually done peer-reviewed trials. We actually compared schools, one with health Corps, one without, to show they have different preferences and what kinds of foods they'll naturally gravitate towards once they realize that this is junk food and that's not, which affects their SAT scores, their relationships at school, or without the kids with their families and the like. And it also mm -hmm. changes their aspirations, where they could be. It's one of the reasons we've got a big program with mm -hmm. the NBA this year. Uh, we've been working with them for the past year. And pro sports leagues like to influence kids in the right way. Because, you know, these athletes got there because they're not just physically fit, they're also mentally ready. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're having NBA greats tweet out to our kids, uh, to affect all kids around the country. You don't have to actually have a coordinator at your school. You can get this information into your school. Just get me a teacher, one teacher, mm -hmm. could be an English teacher, who feels that health matters. Uh, and we want to, you know, we want to educate the student body, which is what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Literally, the student body. Yeah. And what, by doing that in the right way, we can spread this message across the country. We already are touching about 30,000 kids' lives in America so every many. single year. Let's make it really big in Texas. Well, it's growing here in yeah. Houston. It, it yeah. sure West is. Westside High School here yes. in Houston is getting next it next month. Year.
Yeah, exactly. And and these programs, you know, it's a certain time that a lot is allotted for each school. Mm -hmm. But this one is just going to keep on going at Sharpstown because that's how positive it's been. That's how great of. And I think now that you're in Houston and people are getting a personal taste of you, maybe more schools will come forward and say, "I want to do that." I know it costs about a hundred thousand dollars to implement it. That's raised right here, though, right? Yeah. It's ra so raised the, the raised money's raised spent all locally. on profit. Mm -hmm. yeah. We spent locally. We don't tax that. It's used mm -hmm. to take care of these kids. To put, it's based on the Peace Corps model. Mm -hmm. The Peace Corps, you take these young, energetic college grads, but instead of sending them off to Botswana to build dams, you put them in schools around this country. That's why it's called the Health Corps. And yeah. the same model, we get pay the same mm -hmm. amount of money. The funds are used the exact same way, and we educate not just the kid but the teachers as well. And I tell you, if you're out there, a private citizen, and you want to play a role in making school systems better mm -hmm. in Houston, this is a great way to what do it. What a great program. Dr. Oz, awesome. Thank you. Making a big difference. Rita, right thank you for doing the package. Oh, absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah.